Information has just been revealed about the weight and the specifications of the Cybertruck. There's a lot of confusion out there. A lot of people think that um, the Cybertruck is going to weigh 10,000 pounds. No, that's false. Here's what actually is really, what's really been revealed by the government numbers we've just seen and what they actually really mean. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back everyone else. Now tonight my boys and I were at Hungry Jack's or Burger King and someone um, who watches the channel uh, saw us through the drive through and they sent us a message and said hi, watch the channel. just want to say hi mate, thanks for watching and thank you for sending that message, I appreciate it. Cybertruck, Tesla Cybertruck, right? We've been wondering for a long time what is going on because all the information was removed from Tesla's website but now we have some interesting information. For one, we know it's definitely the 800 volt architecture that we'd all well, many had assumed it would be. A likely charging speed will be 350 kilowatt using Tesla's new V4 superchargers. Tesla's V3 chargers will charge to 250 kilowatt. They could still start, charge at 250 kilowatt speeds, which is pretty good. But some people were saying they thought it could charge it up to one megawatt or 750 kilowatt. That won't be happening from what I'm hearing. Can't say that for sure though. But what's even more interesting than that to me is the specifications that have been pretty well confirmed. We know there's a dual motor version. We know there's a tri-motor version based on VIN numbers from US government data. So tri-motor and dual motor. No quad motor and no rear-wheel drive single motor. Tesla basically confirmed there wouldn't be a rear-wheel drive version because there wasn't a lot of demand. Not a lot of the pre-orders were for the rear-wheel drive version. Plus the Cybertruck is expensive to make. It doesn't make sense for Tesla to make a model that's too cheap. Otherwise it loses too much money. It has admitted Tesla have admitted, Elon Musk have admitted, Tesla won't make a profit from the Cybertruck for around 18 months. By that point, scale will be big enough and efficiency will be high enough that they can start to make money selling this vehicle. Now, there is two different weighted vehicles. There's a lot of confusion on YouTube. There's a lot of people confused, on websites, a lot of people confused about what these numbers mean. This is gross vehicle mass, gross vehicle mass, for the dual motor, I'm going to guess the smaller battery pack appears to be between 8,000 to 9,000 pounds. And for the tri-motor, I think with a long range battery pack, it's 9,000 to 10,000 pounds. But that includes around 3,500 pounds of people and weight. So the vehicles are rated something like, say, Ford F-150 Lightning. It's rated to carry a around about 3,500 pounds all right, so that is the weight of the vehicle plus the weight of the people and the weight of the gear. So you're looking at approximate weights of between 6,000 pounds to maybe 6,700 pounds for the heaviest weight Cybertruck. What does this mean? It means the Cybertruck is unquestionably lighter than the Ford F-150 Lightning and it is also bigger. It's got a much longer bed. The bed is one foot longer. Um, interior space, of course, the actual storage space is significantly greater. If you add it all up together, the bed space, the cell plane space, the front space, uh, and the interior space, the Cybertruck is actually significantly bigger in that way. Plus, it is just simply a bigger vehicle overall than an F-150 Lightning. Because the F-150 Lightning has got a small bed on it. It's like the, short, the shorter version of the F-150. But the Cybertruck, even though it's bigger, is lighter. So whatever Tesla's done here with this new way of making vehicles, of course, normal F-150s and normal um, trucks, utes, etc., use a ladder frame chassis. It's like a very, very old traditional way of making pickup trucks. No one's ever really diverged from that. This is the first time that's ever happened. Obviously, Tesla, using their new manufacturing techniques, have been able to lower the weight. There's been a lot of stuff like this. I'm reading this on various websites. The reason the Cybertruck hasn't been made yet or hasn't been sent to customers yet is because Tesla is desperately um, find, trying to work out how to solve problem because the weight is too heavy. The, the weight's are, the car's too heavy. The stainless steel's too heavy. It's weighing down the car. The whole car's way too heavy. They can't put it into production because it's not getting the range Tesla thought it would get. Um, they're desperately trying to make every component uh, 10 grams lighter. Um, there's crisis going on at Tesla. Now, that's been reported by lots of mainstream media, lots of websites. That was all false. That's complete baloney. From what we can see here from the government themselves, and this vehicle is actually not heavy. In fact, it's 
relatively light based on the size of what it is. So Tesla have done a pretty good job, I think, to get, get themselves to this point. Now, Tesla have also changed, I believe, their stainless steel supply to a Finnish company. Um, I'm not really sure why that is. No one seems to really know why they're choosing to use a Finnish company over their current existing stainless steel supplier, but it's cold rolled stainless steel. So it's, it's a bit different to normal stainless steel that you see on your fridge, for example. It's all the news we have so far from the Cybertruck. I think that's actually quite good news. The vehicle is lighter than we thought it would be. Um, it's also got 800 volt architecture and it's about to be revealed. We have a reveal date. So I won't be making any more videos unless something drastic happens between now and the reveal of the Cybertruck. I won't be making any more videos about the Cybertruck until the day of the reveal. I'm pretty excited for that day. I don't know if you are, but um, it's going to be it's going to be a really interesting day when we find out all the details of this vehicle. Does it really have 500 miles of range? What do we really know so far? Well, we know a little bit, but truthfully, there's still a lot to be learned about what's going on with it. One of the things that I think is good is that we do know that Tesla has decided to convert all 4680 cell production to Cybertruck batteries, which is the version of the 4680 with 10% higher energy density. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.